Hi, this is Colin Petty with Synesthesia Audio. I wanted to uh, do a little short uh, video of my multi-touch display. It's a rear diffused interface, but uh, with no box, as you can see. Uh, I wanted to show a few people online and a few friends over at uh, NYU Steinhardt uh, the various different things that you can do with a, uh, a multi-touch display. Uh, so I'll show you just briefly real quick if you come over here for a second this main piece right here. Keep in mind this is just a proof of concept so it's not actually the finished product. I've got better materials and a better motif for this whole thing but right now what you're looking at is just a simple piece of uh, plexiglass um, that's about uh, three millimeters uh, and what's coming over the top is a 100% Piva shower curtain liner. Uh, both these together I think cost me like 50 or 6 bucks over at Home Depot. It's uh, set right now on a uh, PVC pipe frame which is just thrown together and not very stable uh, which is why I've got some uh, of these stands right here just for additional support. Uh, but once I get a little bit more uh, PVC pipe it'll be rock solid. I've got uh, just this PVC pipe, uh, 45 degree angle uh, connections with uh, a couple of like lighting stands that my neighbor uh, is letting me use. So basically, if you you can actually see that the the, the footprint of this is is not very large. So if you want to come around uh, and I'll show you <coughs> exactly what's making the display. Down here at the bottom is a uh, Optima short throw projector uh, that goes, I think the resolution is a little bit over uh, 720p, I think it's 800, like 1200 by 800 resolution. Uh, up here I've got a uh, camera that is a PS3i that is modified specifically to only see infrared light. It can't see anything but infrared light at 850 nanometer wavelengths. And right up here, uh, which will probably blind the camera, this is invisible to us. We can't see uh, that light right there. But uh, right now, this is a 12 volt, uh, 2 amp um, LED infrared light at uh, 850 nanometers. Uh, and it's actually only two LEDs. So that is blasting the back of the screen. Uh, when I put my fingers on top of the uh, plexiglass what's happening is the light is reflecting off of my fingertips into the camera which is picking up my fingertips as blobs or mouse clicks uh, so if you come over here to the laptop I'll show you the uh, type of software uh, that I use to just for calibration <clears throat> this is the uh, CCV uh, calibration and interface tool open source you can find on uh, nuigroup.org. Uh, but after doing uh, just a brief touch on the plus uh, calibration, now I have complete uh, multi-touch on every single finger. I have uh, a response and also palm, you know, for if you want to, uh, a, the one fist, or if you want to play palm with uh, two fists. Um, or individual fingers. So this is just a one a quick free app, uh, one of many small uh, apps that you can find online that basically just shows you that the multi-touch is working. Uh, Microsoft Surface uh, threw this out as just a, uh, a demonstration of uh, the Surface, but uh, it's basically a little pond um, and get multi fingers in there. In fact, uh, if you hold it, it just ripples outward until you let go. Um, so if I just hold one finger down, uh, ripple, and then let go, or I can swipe at the water with like multiple fingers. The cool thing about this, uh, the way that this is set up as a boxless rear diffuse interface is the people on the other side can see perfectly what's going on. If you want to dip the, uh, the camera behind the screen. Uh, so in a live performance musical application, if I'm performing live and I'm doing something complex, as opposed to just bobbing my head in front of a laptop where people could assume that I was playing solitaire, I can actually control uh, patches in Max MSP, uh, any kind of DJ software where I can use the buttons and slide faders uh, as people are looking. Uh, then they'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing and it makes it more of a performance type piece.